by simply being there. The fact that the House of Lords has black and brown faces goes to show that ours is an equal society in which all colors are respected equally. It also goes to show that people, whatever their color, are equally capable of contributing to our society. And that strengthens the idea of equality, which is central to democracy. And I suppose I also contribute to democracy by investigating, uh, by scrutinizing legislation and uh, keeping an eye on the government. No, I think it has much to contribute. Lots of things need to be changed. They have been changing. I mean, I would change its composition in some ways. I think it's too large. Uh, I also feel that it's uh, not as effective as it could be because of the way in which the relation between two houses are structured. We seem to give preeminence, primacy to the House of Commons. I don't see why that should be so. It's not the case in the United States. It's not the case in India. So although I would be inclined to make quite a few changes, by and large, I think that this is a place which is a concentration of enormous intelligence and experience. I mean, in which other place would you have two or three ex-prime ministers, foreign secretaries, contributing to the debate? So in that sense, this is a unique place, and, it is, it, and we should be proud of ourselves for creating and sustaining it. Of course, uh, changes are needed, but nothing should be done to abolish or curtail its powers. First, tremendous surprise, because this is not, I had no political ambition. I mean, all my life I have been an academic, a philosopher, writing books, had been active from time to time in public life, but never in party politics, and therefore never thought that I, this is something that would come my way. So when I was rung up on 18th of December, 1999, my wife picked up the phone, and there was a call from, at the other end, somebody saying, this is number 10 Downing Street. My wife thought it was a joke. She passed on the phone to me and the voice said, in confidence, the Prime Minister is minded to recommend you to the Queen. Uh, as a peer, are you interested? And that's how the story started. So, enormous surprise, but also enormous sense of pride and gratitude to this wonderful country. To take part in major debates, uh, to ask questions from time to time, and to serve on the select committee.